What's up guys, it's Josh, and today we are not in my backyard, uh, but my friend's backyard, and his backyard is quite a bit bigger than mine. I think, uh, I don't know if you can consider it a backyard or not, but I'll just have to show you guys. Yep, this is his backyard. Pretty big. I will be riding my four-wheeler way up over this hill back into the wooded area and camping out for the night and that'll be my home for the evening so uh, I'm gonna get unloaded here get on the four-wheeler and I'll head back there hope you guys enjoy well uh, here she is all loaded up as you can see I'm not exactly a very good minimalist need to work on that but it'll get me back there so uh, here we go guys around for a little bit on my overloaded four-wheeler there and uh, found me a good spot out here in the woods very serene and quiet out here it's flat I think it'll be a good spot I have some uh, cinder blocks over here that somebody left from camping out here before so I'm gonna make use of those probably start trying to set up my camp and then I'll scrounge up some firewood to keep me warm so uh, I'll get back with you guys so Started getting my camp together here. Got all my tent stuff in there. Probably gonna build my little fire pit right about here. Uh, there's some cinder blocks over there I'm gonna use to make my little fire pit. It's pretty convenient. And then I'm gonna go up the hill here and scavenge out some firewood. I've seen several fallen trees. I don't have a chainsaw with me. Uh, mine doesn't work. But I do have a sawzall. So, That'll have to do for now. I think it'll work. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. So I'm gonna go get some wood, build some fire.
Now, when I get back to camp, I can cut these down a little smaller too. But for transportation purposes, the bigger logs are easier to move. So I think that's a pretty good start. Uh, I'll probably gather some more little sticks too as well. And uh, we'll get the fire going. Oh, got my little uh, cinder block fire pit built here. Not much, but it's plenty big for uh, what I'm going to be doing. Got a pretty good uh, fire pile started here. No chainsaw, no problem. We have a Milwaukee. It, uh, it did pretty well. And uh, got a pretty good start. I think I'm going to try to split a few of these logs. Got some sticks back here. And then I'm um, start trying to build a fire. That way we can get some uh, food cooking later. I think I'm going to cook some uh, tacos. So, uh, yeah. So I decided to try something. Got dryer lint here. I'm gonna use that as a fire starter. To help get my fire going. Well, after many failed attempts, it looks like my fire might actually be going now. This is something I'm going to need to practice on. Not very good at it, but she's starting to light up now, so I think we'll be in all right shape. It's starting to get a little dark out here, so it's good to have the fire going. It's going to start cooling down a lot, and I'm getting hungry. She's burning hot now. Got some more firewood while I was gone. And yeah, I think we got the fire going, so probably let that burn down a little bit and then we'll start cooking, guys.
There is my taco meat. I think it looks pretty good. So we're gonna try her out. Get me some taco shells real quick. bit of onion on here. And I think we're gonna try some uh, hot sauce, which I've never had, so hopefully it doesn't kill me. Tacos on the fire. Street tacos on the fire. Looks pretty good. I'll have to try them. Cheers, guys. Hopefully, these are good. It's not bad. That hot sauce is a lot hotter than I'm used to, but now I know. Very rewarding. When you work hard getting your camp set up, building your fire up, and then finally get all your food cooked and you get to eat it, sit down, and relax. So I'm gonna try to sit here and enjoy these, enjoy the nature. Yeah, it's dark out now. I feel feel.
feel a lot better after eating. I think I'm just going to relax a little bit. Probably turn on some music. I brought a Bluetooth speaker. Try to stay warm. It's getting really cold now. So that firewood's going to come into good use. Uh, that'd be about it for the night. I'll give you all an update whenever I'm getting into the tent. Getting my little heater warmed up. So I'll see you guys. Hey guys, it's cold out. It's uh, getting pretty late, so I got into the tent here. It's nice and cozy. Got the little little buddy heater going, and it'll uh, it'll keep you warm. So, got plenty of propane this time, so I shouldn't have any problems with being cold tonight. Um, not much to do now except just relax. Um, hopefully, it doesn't rain in the morning, but there's a chance, so we'll find out. Could even get some snow, depending on how cold it gets tonight. Down into the lower to mid 30s, so. I'll get back if there's any updates. Staying warm, guys. These things are awesome. If you don't have one, you should get one. I uh, also thought I'd show you this uh, Milwaukee battery adapter here. Just plug in your battery to it and you can charge your phone. And I got this huge battery, so I mean, phone ain't ever gonna die with that. And I used it to charge my speaker as well, and power my saws all. So pretty versatile when you got the Milwaukee batteries. I guess this might be my last update unless something crazy happens. Um, I can hear coyotes out here uh, yapping, making a lot of noise. Every now and then you can hear a loud truck in the distance, but besides that, it is very quiet. I think I'll sleep very good tonight. Well, good morning. It rained a lot last night, but uh, it was honestly pretty peaceful listening to it patter off the tent. Um, it's getting kind of windy out now. Hopefully a tree doesn't fall and kill me. I'm going to turn my heater back on and try to get up and warm up, get ready to go. May cook breakfast, I may not. We'll see what the uh, the wet conditions are like out there. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back with you guys. Well guys, it's about it for my little home for the night. Uh, attempted to get a fire started, but everything's so wet and I didn't have any kind of fire starters. So I decided to go ahead and pack her up. Uh, I'm gonna ride back to the truck, try not to freeze to death because it is cold. And then uh, I guess I'll eat at home. I don't know. I'll get back with you. Well, back on the trailer, boys. I think I'm going to head to the house. It's freezing cold. Can't feel my hands. Don't suggest riding four wheelers in freezing temperatures without proper gloves. It sucks. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe and share. And feel free to comment anything you think I should do or anywhere I should go camping or things I should cook. Thanks again, guys.